Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. I know you must have searched this question, like top trending jobs in 2025 for CSE students or IT students. Or if you haven't searched this question, you must have this in your mind. So in this video, we will discuss top seven trending jobs in 2025 for CSE students. So if you are planning your career or you, if you are just curious about the future, this video will definitely give you a clear idea what is going to be trend, what is going to be in trend in tech industry in near future. I will not say that these jobs will be in trend for next 25 years or 30 years because nobody can say this. Technology is changing rapidly, we know. But definitely not just in 2025. For near future also, these job roles, whatever I'll discuss here, will be in trend. So you can go for these. And not just the job roles, I will also discuss why these are in trend and what skills you need to go for these job roles. And from where you can prepare for those skills, that thing also. Okay, so let's start. The first is, that's very obvious, AI engineer. What basically AI engineers do? They create intelligent systems. And those systems mimic human actions and decisions. Like for example, chatbots self-driving cars, voice assistant. These are these intelligent systems. They are created by like AI engineers, right? And why this thing, this type of job will be in trend? Because we know that AI is everywhere, in every field, in every industry. Whether it's finance, whether it's education, whether it's entertainment, whether it's like, you can say healthcare, automobile industry, it's everywhere AI. So definitely the demand for AI engineer would be high in near future, in 2025 as well as in near future. So what you need to know, right? what skills are required for this role? Machine learning, deep learning, neural networks. If you talk about languages, then Python, R, Java, as well as you should have knowledge of like TensorFlow. So these things will be required. First was AI engineer, then cybersecurity specialist. What is the role of these cybersecurity specialists? They are going to protect the data, right? They are going to like safeguard or secure the organization's data and networks from cyber threats or cyber attacks from hackers. They just ensure that the sensitive information of that organization remains safe and secure from the hackers or any other like cyber threats. And we know that there are so many cyber attacks and nowadays because everything is going to be digital. So definitely the demand for cybersecurity specialist is going to be increased in near future. That is for sure. Right now, what skills you need? Network security for this job role, encryption, ethical hacking. You must have knowledge of like Wireshark and these things. And these certification will definitely going to help you if you are going for these uh, these jobs like CISSP, Certified Information System Security Professionals, and CEH, Certified Ethical Hacker. So if you have these additional certification, then definitely you will be uh, getting an edge over other candidates. Okay, so second is this, cybersecurity specialist. Increasing cyber threats drive needs of security experts. Definitely these would be, these uh, type of jobs will be, will be in high demand. Third is cloud engineer. What they do is cloud engineer are responsible to basically design, manage and maintain the cloud structure or that infrastructure. They are going to design, they are going to create the cloud-based infrastructure for any organization. Then manage that cloud platform and applications and maintain as well. They like ensure that the efficient data storage and processing. They just ensure that all the applications and the data are stored and processed efficiently on the platform like AWS and Google Cloud, Microsoft, Azure. So most of the companies are switching for these like cloud infrastructure. So the demand for cloud engineer is definitely going to increase and what skills to be needed for this you should have a strong knowledge of those cloud architectures and platforms like aws google cloud azure you should have a knowledge of cloud databases some tools you should be familiar with the tools like docker and kubernetes this will definitely help you for this job role right and we know that like almost every organization is like now shifting on cloud infrastructure for scalability and for cost efficiency. So these cloud engineers will definitely be in high demand for designing, for creating and for securing these cloud infrastructures. So that is the, I guess, the third one. The next one is 
full stack developers these are responsible for both front end and back end okay nowadays companies want those employees that those that can manage the complete uh, stack like front end as well as back end so front end means like basically what users see that thing and uh, for this you have the knowledge of html css javascript react some framework also and for back end you should have knowledge of like they manage the server side okay so you should have knowledge of node js python ruby on rails there can be other technology also but these are few of them right and you should be familiar with the databases like maybe mysql postgresql mongodb these databases fine so the next one is data scientist or analyst what they do is basically data scientist analyze and interpret complex data set to help businesses to make some data driven decisions they are going to make some models predictive models uncover insights that are going to help stakeholders okay this is mainly main job of data scientist right now skills needed for uh, data scientist are statistics machine learning you should have you know a strong in these things statistics machine learning you have knowledge of like uh, python programming language r you should be uh, good in these tools also like tableau power bi so these are like tableau power bi these are data visualization uh, tools why this these type of jobs jobs will be in trend we know that like with this growing amount of data growing amount of data being generated by us companies or businesses need some experts to uh, make sense of that data and convert that data into some actionable insights so that they can get help from that data from users data right so this would definitely be in high demand in near future and the next one is blockchain developer i hope you have heard about this also about black, uh, blockchain so basically uh, what they do is they are responsible to design the apps decentralized apps right and contract smart contracts so mainly focusing on the technology behind cryptocurrencies like bitcoin ethereum these technologies right skills needed for blockchain developers are blockchain technology then some languages like go c++ solidity or cryptography you should have knowledge of cryptography as well now these are also blockchain developer these are also like this technology is also uh, you know rapidly growing in every almost many of the industries like these are used in supply chain healthcare finance and many more industries are there so it is growing so definitely blockchain developers job you can go for this this will definitely going to be the demand for this is will be high in near future but for this you must have deep understanding of blockchain technology and consensus algorithms as well and you should be very good in these uh, languages also then only you can go for this blockchain developer for this role okay it's not like that you have some knowledge of these things and that's it you will get the job role no you should be very good whatever skills i have told you for each job roles you should be proficient or very good in those skills then only like you will be having higher chances of getting selected for these roles and these are high paying roles that's why i'm saying this thing right next is the last the seventh one is iot developer so basically what internet of things what they do is they are going to develop software and the hardware for connected devices like we have some smart appliance in our home like smart homes right we have some wearables we have some automated systems so they deal they develop software uh, like iot developers design and develop these kind of software and hardware right now skills needed for this is you should be having knowledge of like embedded system microcontroller languages like c c++ python you should be familiar with some iot protocols like mqtt and the coap mqtt means message queuing telemetry transport and this is constrained application protocol so these are the skills required for this and the applications i have told you like smart homes industrial iot and some wearables okay now why this is in trend it is growing rapidly nowadays because nowadays everybody like every everyday devices whatever we use the devices in our home that are becoming connected they they are all connected 
with each other like just very good example of like smart homes you speak and you will get your work done by the those smart device you have at your home so this field is having a huge potential for growth you can go for this job role also so these are i guess uh, the seventh that we have discussed the top seven trending it jobs in 2025 you can go for this and if you require like for a specific role if you need something some extra information or any other video you can just let me know in comment section okay so now that's it for this uh, video now now we'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care